All right, everybody, we're going to learn how to set up TLC plates Hi. for the final. We need to set up a line one centimeter from the bottom of a TLC plate. Just a little mark. And then gentle. Do not press down. If you press down, you will take off the powder one centimeter from the bottom. You're gonna need four guide marks evenly spaced, not too close to the edges. One, two, three, four. Four guide marks evenly spaced, not too close to the edges. Okay? Now we need to set up our TLC beakers. All right. In fact, you should set up your TLC beakers first before I did the other part because there's a waiting period. On your, on your, on your final, you'll be using different solvents. Uh, I don't know if these are the solvents, but this one's a one-to-one -one dichloromethane to hexane mixture. You need to pour less than a centimeter of liquid. You don't have to measure it. Although here it is, and it's less than a centimeter. And then you immediately put the cover on it, put it firm with your palm, make sure it's sealed. So that's the one to one. And then here's a different one, one to three, hexane to dichloromethane, same idea. That may have been a little too much. Pour back. The lid stays on for five full minutes. Okay. So we'll be coming back in a second. So we had a couple good questions. So why is it that we put only one centimeter of solvent? Good question. Why is there only one centimeter of solvent? It's because when I put my TLC plate in there, I don't want the spots going sideways. I want them only going up with the liquid. So if they're already surrounded by liquid, that means you had more than a centimeter in here, and the spots will spread sideways. We don't want that. We had another good question. And why do we wait five minutes? Why do we wait five minutes for this liquid? It's because I want the environment in here to be saturated with the solvent. One of my solvents was three to one dichloromethane to hexane. The other was one to one. Good questions, thank you. So the chemicals we're gonna be spotting, this is the block you're gonna see on the final. You're gonna use ferrocene, acetylferrocene, and diacetylferrocene in the first three spots. And you have one of these vials on the final You'll have your own number in here, and I just broke my TLC applicator. Remember, this was the aliquot from today's experiment, but you'll have one that says TLC number X. And it'll, you'll determine what's in TLC X as part of the experiment. And you have an applicator, because I broke mine. There we go. So what you do, I, I'm gonna show you one of the spots. You take it out and you spot it once until it's wet. You let it evaporate and you spot it again. And you're going to do that for all four. Okay? So after we finished our spots, it looks like this. Ferrocene, acetylferrocene, diacetylferrocene. And the unknown is a mixture of all three. Your only job on the, on the unknown is to tell me which chemical in the mixture is the major chemical. To do that, we've got to develop our TLC plate. So our five minutes are up. We're going to put our TLC plate in here. You want to lean it in there, not, not on too severe an angle. 
see how that it's not it's not all the way across the beaker slight angle and put the lid on make sure it's snug by using your whole palm and you leave it in there it's not for an amount of time that we leave it in here it is until the solvent gets close to a centimeter from the top so you'll see the solvents down here now sometimes it's easier to see from behind I don't want to move this around too much splashing's not a friend of ours but you can definitely see how far the solvent is from the back and we're gonna let it go until the solvents a centimeter from the top I think that'll be our second segment